Welcome Aries and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 14th of November through to Sunday the 20th of November 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine Thank you. Okay, learn from the past, Aries. Elephant spirit. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question? How does the soulmates of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus feel towards? Thank you. And we have moth spirit surrender now. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. And we have Pig Spirit, use your mind wisely. Okay, Aries, for those of you that I am connecting with, um, you are definitely being guided to take action um, and learn from the past. Surrender and use your mind wisely. What I'm picking up for you, Aries, um, whoever you're connecting with, straight off the bat, this person uh, is your twin flame okay um or a very deep soulmate for some of you um but i am feeling a very very strong connection with whoever you are connecting with okay with regards to love this is 100 percent a love reading okay i feel that what you're being guided to do many of you you're being guided to take a leap forward and learn from the past i feel um aries whoever you're connecting with they are either confused or they are in a little bit of like mental torture. And you know what? It's because you are in some sort of mental torture, overthinking something. Now you're being guided to learn from the past because overthinking a connection or overthinking um, somebody and how they feel about you and you know what's going on uh, you know are you an item are you moving to the next level whatever it is whatever it is you're overthinking it didn't work for you in the past it didn't it didn't serve you well so i feel that you're being guided that if your mind is all cluttered okay overthinking a situation with somebody that you hold dear to your heart guess what as your twin flame they're picking up that energy and it feels as if it's unbalancing them so you're being guided to learn from the past what didn't serve you when you overthought a situation and then many of you may have said things you may have said things or come to conclusions and it got you in hot water. That's what you're being guided to learn from the past. Take action. Many of you, you may need like a, like a, like a physical decluttering, okay, of your home. For others of you, it may even be a psychic or spiritual cleansing because whoever you're connecting with is your twin flame and they're picking up your energy. You are being guided to, oh my God, you're being guided to use your words wisely. Speak from your heart, okay? Because your voice, Aries, those of you that I'm connecting with, either you are strongly psychic or you are one of these people that when you speak things out into the universe, it happens. So you are being guided to use your mind, use your mind. Well, it says use your mind wisely. I was channeling to use your words wisely. Speak from the heart. Be mindful of what you're thinking because whoever you're connecting with, they are picking you up. It feels as if this person is very sensitive to you spiritually. That is how you're going to, you're being guided to take a leap forward and surrender to divine spirit universe. Because your words and your voice, for those Aries that I'm picking up, because your voice and your words are so powerful, 
that you don't even may not even realize it some of you have cottoned on to it if you're quite um quite farther along on your spiritual journey you would have cottoned on and i feel that many of you you might even be into things like tarot a clairvoyant or a medium your intuition i mean depending on the other placements of your um chart um you may be like a clairvoyant or a medium but there is something Aries that when you speak you have authority you have wisdom uh, people stop and they listen to you use your mind wisely if you're all tied up in your head and then you end up saying and doing something that you regret later on that's what's happened in the past and that didn't serve you and you're being guided for you to level up and take a leap of faith you're being guided to surrender surrender to the divine voice in your heart use your mind wisely declutter your mind you don't need to overthink this situation many of you it almost feels as if you're being guided to, oh my gosh shit this is really deep you guys are being guided to surrender yourself, um, surrender self to divine. Many of you, you've got a very powerful mission here on this earth in this lifetime through communication, through your words, through how you um, are of service to others. Yeah. Yeah. And so as you progress on your spiritual journey, many of you are having a breakthrough this week in terms of recognizing what you think and what you say, what you put out there in the cosmos actually happens. Some of you might not even be aware of it. It's like, you know what, Aries, I mean, when you're upset and angry about something, oh my gosh, everybody move out of the way. But what you may not realize when you say things like be careful what you say, because if you're angry with somebody and you say, God, I wish that person would just whatever, whatever, whatever. Guess what? That what it, it come. It, that's what happens. And some of you, you may not realize that all the time because you may say something off the cuff and it could be months, years, weeks that you find out somebody, you know, had a misfortune and because of that inner voice within you that connection that you have with divine spirit universe your higher self you remember what you said and then many of you you think shit why did i say that did i impact that and then you might just dismiss it don't dismiss it you are leveling up spiritually you may not even realize it many of you you're you're you may still be um not fully awake with your spiritual gifts but you've got some you've got some mad skills that's all i can say and i feel that you're being guided to surrender surrender look at that look at that aura of um gamma just take a look at that card for a minute it's almost as if you guys are earth angels I don't know who what Aries I'm picking up and who I'm channeling right now, but you're pretty special people. You're pretty special. You're being guided that you will thrive when you don't battle with your skills, your abilities, particularly for many of you, your mind. You get yourself in a tizzle, then you say something and then you regret it. Surrender to the voice within many of you. You are being called, you are being called to service. Okay, let me just read this card for you. I could get really deep in this reading um, and you guys will probably just switch off. But whoever I'm connecting with, you know who you are and you know what I'm talking about. Look at that. It says it is time to let go of what has been. That's it. That's it. You're being guided to let go self, Aries. Those of you that I'm connecting with, you're pretty special. Like, I can't echo how special you are. You have to release. It's almost as if you're dying to self. 
so that you can guide and lead others on their spiritual path because that's your purpose. You are swiftly outgrowing your past. Explore and commit to a... Look at that. Look at it. Look, look I can't even... I can't even, I can't even do the two hands. It says, let me put this right up. It says, can you see? I hope you can. Explore and commit to a spiritual practice that supports your personal transformation so that you can cross the threshold before you now. And that threshold, okay, look at how the airy symbol is like it's jumping forward. That threshold is A, connecting with your twin flame and recognizing how sensitive they are to your thinking, to what goes on in your mind, okay? And also surrendering to divine spirit universe who I feel is calling you into service with your spiritual gifts. It says, embrace your freedom to be creative in your approach rather than dodging, uh, committing yourself to your previous ideas or plans. You're being guided to surrender. Surrender now. You are being guided to surrender self. Whatever it is you have, whatever it is you think you should be doing or whatever plans you think you should be putting in place, like surrender it and take it to divine spirit universe. Ask, meditate, pray for discernment. You guys are leveling up to a level that is like, yeah, even beyond my words it says you have the spiritual look at that it says you have the spiritual intelligence necessary to evolve continue your healing journey with trust that a positive outcome is imminent and aura is the roman goddess of the dawn the br the bringer of light um of a new cycle or chapter in life Yeah, look, she is the dispeller of darkness, the flickering flame of hope in the hearts that can burn into such a raging holy fire that even the greatest challenges do not cause the soul to turn away in fear. Gamma waves are high frequencies, typically 40 hertz in humans, but extend into higher levels with hypergamma oscillating at around 100 hertz associated look at that associated with spiritual insight and clarity pure vision and breakthrough awareness the gamma state is associated with high level processing that leads to integration and evolution aura of gamma indicates a shift into a new cycle but also the growing presence of the light within which is the creative light of spirit tuning into that light opens up options for living soulfully away from the grip of ignorance no longer constantly ensnared by the compelling but ultimately fraudulent con um, uh, uh, conjurations of ego her new era is an inner transformation with positive external consequences trust in what your inner light is manifesting in your heart and in our world so, like, if you guys really want to go deep, 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 all right, Aries, you are part of the new era, the new world. We are entering 2023. This is a powerful time when the divine feminine is being balanced with the divine masculine as we move from 2022 into 2023. I've just, I've been called to um, study numerology. OK, and it has blown my mind. OK, when you when you combine it with tarot, when you combine it with astrology and when you combine it with what's going on with our planet, uh, Aries, I won't go too deep into it because you'll just probably switch off. But for many of you, um, you are part of a new era. 
you're part of a new era as we enter 2023. I actually feel like I want to cry. Um, you are special. That's all I can say. All right. And whoever you are connecting with, Aries, um, is your twin flame. You, you know who your twin flame is. And trust me, they know who you are. And you are in separation at the moment. You may not be even in the same country or the same location, but you have connected. You know each other. And so as your mind is getting cluttered with worldly nonsense in the, excuse me, in the nicest possible way, Aries, that's what you're being guided to die to. Surrender now. Otherwise, you're not going to be ready for the new era because you may be a leader to help people find their peace, to help people on their spiritual journey as they awaken. Wow. All right, Aries, if this message is resonating for you, if you haven't switched off already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Aries. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, <clears throat> It does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. I am truly, truly uh, grateful. And I hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading. Okay, Aries, um, let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 14th of November through to Sunday the 20th of November 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aries that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. All right. Let's see who if we can pick up your twin flame, Aries. Well, this card wanted to come out. Oh, wow. <laughs> so whoever you're connecting with, they see nothing but victory, happiness. Whoever you're connecting with, Aries, they know that you are their twin flame. Yeah. And it makes them happy. Yeah, it's like they are happy that they have connected with you. They know you. They know that you are the one for them. And they are the one for you. Yeah. Uh, you could be dealing with the Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. Thank you. Well, Aries, this person, def I told you, you guys are not together. They want to celebrate this connection. They want to be around you. They want to get to know you. So either this is a relatively new relationship or a new encounter with this person, but they see nothing but victory with you. Happiness, abundance. Yeah, you are their happy. They want to spend time with you. They want to get to know you. Uh, and I feel that they may be keeping that secret from you with the Seven of Swords. Uh, many of you, you may be keeping secret um, that you are all up in your head at the moment, not knowing like what they, yeah, yes, you are all up in your head. The Ten of Swords. Uh, many of you are <coughs> confused. Confused about how this person feels about you. Confused whether or not this uh, connection is going anywhere. Trust me, Aries, it is going somewhere. But this confusion um, that you are, that's going on in your head, you may be keeping it secret from them, right? But do you know what? Because of the intensity of this connection, no matter how far you are apart, they are picking you up. And so their mind is all twisted up. Because you are confused. Many of you, you might have felt a little bit stabbed in the back by this person. Not sure. Let me pull some more cards. <clears throat> okay. Look, well, the well comes out. You're being guided to take action to create what you want. Using your mind wisely. Do you remember I said to you, many of you, you're, the power of your words... Um, uh, can be literally 
<clears throat> even choking. Uh, your words, Aries, can be used for good or bad. So you're being guided to use your mind wisely because whoever you're connecting with, they can connect with you telepathically. So if you're all up in arms in your um, mind, okay, um, and you think you're keeping that secret from this person, you're not. Like the two of you, whoever you're connecting, you're so transparent. It's unbelievable. So you're being guided that you've got the ability to create what you want in your mind. If you're all in confusion, if you feel stabbed in the back, if you don't know where the connection is going, remember when you overthink something and you say something and you act on it, it didn't work for you in the past. In fact, it probably came and bit you in the bottom. You're being guided to learn from that. And that's where you're going to have your breakthrough. Yeah, you're being guided to create what you want with this person. And I know that I say it all the time and tarot readers say it all the time. Aries, for you specifically, what you think, okay, you can bring in and manifest what you create in your mind. So positive thinking, I know it's a cliche, but Aries, the power of the energy that I'm picking up from whoever I'm connecting with, it might only be one or two of you. You have the power to literally like create your future. Yeah, whoever you're connecting with, they definitely want a future with you. The ace of coins, uh, they want something that's balanced. They want a a start with you this person wants to be with you they um see nothing but happiness abundance they feel that the connection is balanced grounded they want a new beginning with you yeah look at this but they may have been at a crossroads they are at a crossroads but look at the two boxes one thing that they do know if you guys are like at a distance or um like you're not in the same location, they may be at a crossroads how to get to you, to celebrate, to be with you, to get to know you. But look at the two boxes. They know that you are cut from the same cloth, basically. They know that you hold the key to their heart and they know that they hold the key to your heart. The crossroads that they're at is how do they get to you? Yes, okay. So this person, they may have resisted the connection. This is such a typical twin flame reading. Your Aries, we know that you're the warrior, all right? You don't muck around, yeah? You see something, you go for it. Many of you, you may have been the chaser of the twin flame connection or the twin flame journey. This person was the runner. So they may have walked away, resisted. This person now wants to get to know you. They want to celebrate this connection and they don't, they're at a crossroads how to come forward, how to recover from walking away, resisting the connection. You also could be dealing with a Pisces or you could have Pisces in your chart. Thank you. Look at, I can't even, I can't make it up. Did I not tell you that this person is your twin flame? The two of cups you both are mirroring each other okay and they don't want to let you go this person may have walked away or they were the runner in the connection they have um they don't want they don't want to let you go and secretly they might be planning um to see you be with you i mean this person could just rock up at your door okay if it's if you're in different country, this person is keeping secret that they want they want to be with you. They don't want to let you go, but they don't know how to get to you. Yeah, this person is coming back with an apology, a token of their love this week. It might be a really small token, but they're showing you that they love you at some point this week and look again one two three cups three cups look three look 
first of all, this is just echoing the three cups that's here, okay? They want to be with you. They want to spend time with you. They want to celebrate the connection. One, two, three, four, five, six cups. Six cups is somebody that has lived many, many lifetimes with you. They missed you when they pulled back their energy, walked away from the connection, resisted, ran away. And it was what they needed because that may have activated them to recognize that you are their twin flame. Oh my God, look at that. Well, when they, that's why you guys felt really confused and stabbed in the back. Because they walked away from you. Many of you are coming out victorious um, when you speak your truth. Do you remember what I was saying about use your mind wisely, use your voice wisely? Look at what comes out, the Ace of Swords. What you speak impacts this person. What you speak impacts what you create with this person. Many of you, this is vict victory over deep healing. The deep healing of the tower when this person walked away. You felt stabbed in the back. You felt confused. You're healing. You're healing. And I feel that many of you, you will have the opportunity to speak your truth. Possibly when this person comes in. With some sort of token or green light that they love you. It feels like secretly you want to give this person their business. That's what you're being guided to use your mind wisely. Think about what you want to create with this person. Yeah, there's your energy. Full throttle, man. Male or female. You're not ramping with nobody. Aries, you're being guided to take action. Act. Take action. Learn from the past. Surrender. Surrender any upset. That is your greatest gift to yourself. Surrender and take action to let go. What heartache, confusion. And to use your mind wisely. <laughs> and if you do that. Yeah, look, it's like if you if you take action towards this person because of that tower moment, then walking away, you speaking the, your truth in a harsh way, you turn your back on your happiness. See, you turn your back on your happiness. What you want to create, what you want to create is your happiness. Yeah, building a future with this person. But if you... um. Uh, approach them or you speak to them this week with um i want to almost say a bit of a, a sarcastic sarcastic words you're turning your back on your happiness all right you're being guided to remember what is it you want to create many of you you see a future with this person this person is your 10 10 10 cups 10th cup this person completes you but yeah, yeah, you're upset with them because they walked away. Step out of the, and there's the Wheel of Fortune, step out of the human, uh, what you're seeing from a human perspective. Step out of the 3D. And I feel that you're being guided to treat this connection more spiritually because you're very gifted, very gifted. The Wheel of Fortune is just echoing that you and this person are supposed to have a future together in this lifetime. Yeah, because it's a fated connection. And many of you, if you take action and listen to your heart space, let go any kind of anger, confusion, whatever, 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 and focus on what you want to create, it's going to go in your favour. Many of you may end up actually... Um, building a future with this person it's fated to happen yeah uh again we've got pisces popping up here 
um you could have pisces we've got a crab down here cancerian pisces again pisces and cancer leo those are the main um cards that i'm seeing but we can see all the zodiac signs um on this uh wheel of fortune as well so it could be anybody um any signs popping up all right that's actually quite a really beautiful message okay let's get your advice i'm i'm just i'm not even sure if you're still tuned in yeah look light without the dark we'll never see the light um see the stars you're a light bearer or a light worker light healer whatever it is your job as um bringing in the new era the new era of 2023 which is a powerful year for all of us for humanity uh you're part of the light you're part of the new era many of you your energy your voice your presence is shining the light in the darkness okay as we enter out so that everybody can see their stars so they can see their light within yeah Without the darkness, that duality that goes on in all of us, we won't see the light. We won't know what we need to balance out within ourselves. For many of you, like, I can't even really articulate that. They're not even, sh like, t like, showing me or telling me. But there's so much more than you just shining the light and helping people on their spiritual journey. Many of you, you're helping people transform helping them understand the shadow and light within them, the duality that's within all of us. You understand it, you get it. And you will may even go on and help people. And look at that eternity. Give yourself permission to slow down. Slow down, use your mind wisely. Eternity, I feel that you and this person have an eternity together so you don't need to rush you don't need to overthink you don't need to wonder just let things unfold remember surrender to self S -s -s surrender yourself your human self and surrender to your spiritual self your higher self divine spirit universe and then replenish the sun will rise and we will try again absolutely and that is almost like the lessons I feel that you and this person have lived um, many, many lifetimes. Look at that. They're just showing me the full moon. Protect your energy and hold your stars close. Protecting your energy is, um, I almost feel as if I was just there talking about duality, the dark and light within us. You're being guided to protect yourself from yourself. Step out of your human self and step into your heart space. Because you guys have got a really big mission. And that's possibly why your twin flame and you have come in together in this lifetime. Might be a dual, a dual purpose for the two of you. Anyway, I'm rattling on. I'm going to leave that there for you, Aries. I really hope that you stayed to the end of this. If it does resonate, please, please, please click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you absolutely loads and loads of love, peace and light. And I really hope that you send it back at me because you guys are pretty powerful people. All right, I'm going to speak to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.